Yeah. Wow, great. Great intro! Thanks. Bye, have fun at home. Bye, thank you, you too. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! So I've just been doing like last minute packing, making sure that I have everything. I've just taken my coat out of my suitcase as well, because I realised I actually need to wear my coat. And then there was so much more room. Coats take up so much space. Anyway, let's do my advent calendar, and then I really don't know what else I need to do. Like, I've got that weird feeling like I'm forgetting something, and I hate that. Let's just do the advent calendar. Oh my gosh, I need to do 20, day 23 and 24. I just cleaned my teeth, though. Oh, that's my worst thing, is like, I always want to have my teeth as clean as possible before I fly, because I hate, like, the grossness when you fly. Ugh. I hate flying. Okay, the shepherds made the journey to Bethlehem to visit the baby Jesus. Should I eat it now? I mean, I have to. Right, bye clean teeth. I literally just can. I'm now 24. At Christmas, people all over the world celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Son of God. The one thing that I do love about the Advent calendar, well, <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking. Like the chocolates are really, really good chocolate. They're fair trade chocolate as well. I also love that not everyone's white. It's the best part, really. This is my airport outfit. I love this cardigan because this is what I do with it. I just like wrap it round myself so I can snuggle. I'm ready to leave now. I hate traveling. I really, really hate it because I feel like I'm leaving now. I won't even be there in 24 hours. Do you know how like gross that is? Anyway. So I think I've got everything. I've got to walk to Grand Central now with my case and then I get on a shuttle bus to JFK and then I think I have to get the air train to Terminal 7. I'm also dreading my flight, right? Because I booked it with BA but it's like, because I have a connection, it's with another airline. So I think I'm flying Iberia from New York to Madrid and then I go Madrid to London and I think that's the BA flight. Anyway, so I'm just, I'm just dreading it because my flight out here was supposed to be BA but it was American Airlines. It was the worst flight of my life. Like imagine getting on a plane thinking, oh seven or eight hours, like I'll just watch movies on the little personal screen, you know, in the seat head in front of you. They didn't even have that. It was a screen in the middle of the aisle and I was like, what am I supposed to do with myself? And then also the guy next to me spilled wine on me and it was just, it was the worst flight ever. Anyway, I need to leave. See you at the airport. Okay guys, so I'm through security right now. Um, I'm in Terminal 7, I've never flown out of Terminal 7 before. It was awful, honestly, it's like so chaotic and unorganized here. Okay, and I'm through security, there's nothing here. Like, nothing. There's... This is what I don't care about. This is why do you have a Gucci and a coach? Like, if I had that money, I'm not gonna spend it in an airport. Okay, also, the other thing about American airports is there's no free Wi Fi, which is so annoying because in Heathrow, you get like eight hours of free Wi Fi, which is incredible and amazing. And here, you have to pay like five dollars for 30 minutes. It's ridiculous. I need to go and get something to eat, and everyone's staring at me because I'm vlogging in the airport, and it's such a tiny airport. Also, I feel like I don't want to film in the airport because I feel like they might think that I'm like scoping out an area and like filming the area to place. B word. I don't want to say the B word in the airport because I want to go home. Also, this is another reason I hate American airports. Actually, all American toilets are like this, but look. And you can see through the crack. And also, I'm taller than that. Like, if I stand up, my head is like over the door. Oh yeah, I'm just peeing by the way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, JFK is literally one of the worst airports ever. So I had to go with McDonald's because the only other thing was like sandwiches or pizza and it was really expensive. So I was like, McDonald's. Heathrow is just such a good airport. Like I get my Boots meal deal so I don't have to eat plain food. But here I'm having McDonald's and then I will probably have to eat the plain food, which is gonna be gross. I'm gonna use my half an hour of complimentary Wi-Fi on my laptop and watch some goblets. That's worrying. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings. Oh my god, guys, I just ran basically five miles across. 
to Madrid Airport to make my connection because my flight from JFK to Madrid was an hour and a half late, which is insane. So I literally ran five miles. I'm so hot and sweaty and red. It's so gross, but I made it. I was literally the last person on the plane. <laughs> The back of your seat is in the full away position. Your coronary is safely stored and that your table is folded away. From now on, all electronic devices must be conveniently held. Large generators such as laptops must be switched off and stored away safely in every compartment around the seat in front of you. It has been a pleasure having you on board. Thank you for flying.